welcome to my library. I'm so excited because I finally got my bookshelves and we just installed them. So yes, they're like nine feet tall bookshelves and they're amazing. So there's three of them, one, two, three. And anyways, um, so I am going to be working all night on setting them up and organizing my books. So I thought I would hopefully vlog a little bit of it. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but we're gonna figure it out. So yeah, I have all my books laid out right here. And then there's some in my office too in there. <laughs> so it's gonna be an endeavor. So hopefully I can like walk through my process as I go, but I thought I would just start out and show you guys how beautiful they are. I'm so, so excited. And yeah, this is gonna be my evening. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm dealing with first. <laughs> so um, in this box is some of my red books. I tried to organize it a little bit. So when I was moving, it made, made more sense to me, but this box is my red books. This box is my husband's books. <laughs> um, this little bag here is more red books. And then let's see, this box here is all of my romances. Um, and it's kind of overflowing. <laughs> um, oh, and see, I've like, some of this is disorganized. Like this is a romance. Um, this is more red books. Um, and then this is unread books and another pile of unread books. So, I like to organize my bookshelves kind of where I'm going to have one shelf here probably be my red shelf of all the books I have read. And then these two I'm figuring will be the ones that are my unread books. And then I'm gonna organize them by genre um, for unread books and then alphabetically for red books. Just because I don't know why, but that's just kind of how my mind works and how I prefer to organize books. So. So yeah, that's the plan. I think I'm gonna work on the red books first because that is easiest to organize. <laughs> and we will go from there. So I thought I would show you guys um, my favorite shelf that very select books will make it onto. <laughs> um, and these are them so far that I can find. <laughs> but we have here, Wives and Daughters, I just read this and absolutely loved it and definitely deserves it to be on the favorites. We have this one, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. If you haven't read this, I highly recommend. It's super short and it's a contemporary, so it's not a classic or anything, but I loved it. Gone with the Wind, I love this edition of it. I found this at a half price books and freaked out. I think it's so pretty. It's got red sprayed edges. And I just love how hot this cover is, so yes. And then um, Anne of Green Gables. This is one of my, one of my favorite collection pieces, Anne's House of Dreams. Gone with the Wind again, but this one's the big hunker that a lot of people own, but um, this is the one that I've read out of. And then here's Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Oh, that should go in my Softbound Classics selection. Um, the Reckless Oath We Made by Bryn Greenwood. Also a great contemporary love story. Super dark, but I loved it. Um, the Lord of the Rings, also a huge favorite. Return of the King was my one of my favorite reads this year. And then we have Larry McMurtry's Lonesome Dove a classic for all western readers um yeah the the one rest west the one western i have read and absolutely loved and then the thorn birds i've talked about this a lot but this is a love story between a priest and a girl and oh my goodness it is so good set in australian outback Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, a contemporary rom-com, super fun, set in 2000, and it's just amazing. Normal People, Sally Rooney, this was also made into a TV show recently, and highly recommend both the book and the TV show. 
And then here's my other Puffin and Bloom Anne of Green Gables collection piece. I'm trying to find my uh, Puffin and Bloom Little Women, but it's somewhere around here. But anyways, yeah, here's the other one. And then let me move these books aside and show you the last two or the last couple. <laughs> oh, falling over. Okay. Um, so yes, I already showed this one. Okay, here we go. Um, Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I love this book so much. I need to read it in this copy because I'm obsessed. I love bumblebees. Melissa actually means bumblebee. So that's the name meaning. <laughs> um, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Of course, my favorite book of all time. Oh, this is just going in with the collection, but I actually haven't read this. Ah, I need to read it so bad. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy some point. <laughs> and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, also a classic. I love Rochester actually, so kind of an unpopular opinion nowadays, but yeah, I loved him. So um, there's my very chaotic favorites shelf that I'm trying to debate where to put. It will go somewhere, so yes. debating if I'm gonna have room for this but I love it if I do it's like a little like collection piece kind of shelf so it's got you know my Anne of Green Gables books mixed in with my Pride and Prejudice collection that I just got from my parent my mom and my sister so I think it's really pretty but we'll see if it will fit oh and here's my um favorite shelf right here I decided to put it front and center on my red shelf so yeah it's really cute and I just love this cover so much so I wanted to feature it. <laughs> so I just remembered that I have pickle bowl tonight. I just forgot. So I am gonna have to take a break from this lovely, lovely time I'm having organizing my books to go do that and then I'll be back. But um, yeah, I, I might pick it up in the morning if I'm just too tired, but we shall see. But I'm just loving how this is looking so far. So yay. <laughs> So we just got done with pickleball. So I'm whispering because I have my brother-in-law staying with us. <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah, me and Butter are gonna continue decorating and organizing. This is the mess we are dealing with right now, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Come on, Butter. <laughs> Tread lightly. <laughs> on my progress I just did all of my red books here so um, it's fulfilled I mean it's like filled up all of my bookshelf mostly except for these two here so I'm figuring out what I want to do with those shelves but yeah I don't have that many red book like physical books like compared to unread <laughs> I'm sure everyone, well, most people can probably relate to that, hopefully. But anyways, I'll um, do like a slow roll showing my red book so you guys know what I have read. And if you guys have any questions or comments about them, the ones that are outward facing specifically are like ones I wanted to spotlight that I want to just show if anyone walks in the door, you know, those are my favorites. So um so yeah, just some recent five stars of mine. So yeah, I will show that now. Currently on a stool to show this top shelf. But yeah, okay, so it starts with the A's. So this is my Alona Andrews Kate Daniels series. And then here are some more. And then um, here is my Outlander red 
so far. I have some unread, but those will go in these shelves. I know some people are probably screaming like, keep the series together, but yeah, this is kind of how my brain works, so I just do it this way. And this one's my favorite so far of the series, so it's outward facing. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. Um, so here starts another one. This is one of my favorite books, five stars of this year. Um, I'll keep going. This is the John Jakes books I've read that I've kind of talked about recently. Um, okay, I'll keep going. So I'm gonna step off the stool now. <laughs> okay, here we go. A bunch of Jojo Moyes. I love, love her books. Um, love, 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 love this book. Act Like It by Lucy Parker. Keep going. I read this last year. Very good, five stars. So, so wholesome and important. Um, okay, I'll keep going. And then, yeah, and then here's my favorite shelf here. So, yeah, in no really particular order. It's just kind of like randomly, I don't know. I'm kind of like that sometimes with my shelves. I just like to throw them on and see how they look. And I kind of like how it looks. It's just random. So there's that. And then here's my Anne of Green Gables and collector series shelf. So there we go. And we'll keep going with the unread books now, which are romances here and then other books here and here so i've taken off my sweatshirt because things are getting serious <laughs> um no but um yeah so i just finished uh organizing my unread books a little bit um i'm going by genre first and then alphabetical and honestly forgive me if i get some of these genres wrong i'm just going by memory so it could be wrong but I'm going to show you guys my um, World War I and World War II. I just count them both together. Um, shelves. And my also lumped in is some Civil War as well fiction. So I'll show you guys that. And um, let me know if you guys have read any of these books. I need your thoughts because these are books I haven't read yet. So um, I'm eager to hear everyone's opinion. <laughs> okay, so here is where they start. I have... Kate Atkinson books, some of these books. This one is front featured because I know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> five star prediction. If it's like front facing, it's that just means it's a five star prediction. Um, so yeah, some of this, I just hauled this one. I love the cover of this one. Um, I mean, I'll show it because I'm still obsessed. Them embracing, oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, delicate, delicate. Um, okay, yeah. This is The Light Years. This is the first book in the Cazalet Chronicles. Let me know if you guys have read those. I am so eager to read them. This is a really beaten up used copy, but um, yeah. If I like it, then I'll buy the whole series in that really pretty Picador edition, if you guys have seen that. But anyways, I'll keep going. Pam Jenoff. I love Pam Jenoff. I've read her before some more i know i'll i'll love lilac girls too probably <laughs> um yes here's some more the bronze horseman i haven't read and mixed reviews but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like it okay so then this is the end of world war ii zuzak the book thief yeah still haven't read that and then this is the start of my world war or um civil war stuff as far as i can tell or like very post civil war so The Kitchen House is another book I know I'm going to love. I've seen both Krista and Amanda from The Curly Reader um, talk about it recently. And they've both just been pushing it on me and I want to read it. But anyways, um, yeah, here's some more World War or Civil War. I keep saying World War. Civil War stuff. And this is a sequel to Gone with the Wind written by somebody else. It's called Scarlet. And I'm super intrigued. I It could be either really good or really bad. <laughs> so yeah, those are my um, like war history, historical fiction shelves. And then I'm going to keep going with my fantasy and contemporary higher up, up there. <laughs> you guys, I need to read this book so bad. <laughs> You know my, my obsession with Tom Hanks and I found this book at Half Price Books and guess what? 
It has a signed book plate. <laughs> and I didn't even have to pay extra for it. It just came like that. And I was so stoked. Um, this is a collection of short stories by him. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show up that book really fast. <laughs> below my favorites shelf is my unread classics so I'll just scroll through this shelf really fast actually this needs to go somewhere else because I've read Wuthering Heights just realized that um but yeah and then like right about here I don't know somewhere around here is where the like modern classics kind of start so Pillars of the Earth I know I'm gonna love, and I'm actually planning on reading it with um, Kim, um, and we're gonna read that in January, so that's exciting. But yeah, just keep going, more like classics, modern classics. And then I've saved this bottom shelf for my TBR, and then like my wrap up books. So it's kind of sparse, but I mean, you know, I just wanted something that's close to my chair that I know that I can just like see and grab the books. So yeah, there is my little classics, unread classics shelf. Okay, back to the top of the shelf. I'm gonna show you guys my um, unread books, uh, kind of in order of genre, but we'll just go and I'll show you guys kind of what I'm thinking of organizing. It's kind of honestly just haphazard, but whatever, there's some, method to the madness but here's my harry potter collection here this is just randomly placed here i don't i didn't know where to put it <laughs> but um this starts my nonfiction, and then this is that screenplay i showed you guys of my favorite tv show it's so good if you haven't seen fleabag you need to and then here starts the fantasy section of mine of unread i need to get to this so bad <laughs> okay and then um Okay, and then here starts contemporary right here. So, yes, Fred Frederick Bachman, a ton of people's favorites. Still haven't read him. Oh, my goodness. So anticipating the second book in the series. And then here's some more kind of like contemporaries or like more modern books. I know this one's set in the 70s, but I counted it. Um, yeah, more modern this one's technically a romance, but I'm just counting it in contemporary because it's not like, I don't know, it's, it, I just think it's more contemporary probably. So whatever, I'll just count it here. So that ends my contemporaries. And then here starts all of my historicals that are not World War One or Two related, as far as I can tell. So it starts here and goes along. This one looks so good. It's like an Asian historical. And then keep going. Super anticipating this one, front facing. Um, keep going. I own three Philippa Gregory's and have yet to read her. <laughs> um, yes, here's my Susan Howitch books. I read the first chapter of this and loved it, so I know I'm gonna love this one. And then here it goes down. And there's a stool in the way. So yes, here starts my John Jakes. Um, Susanna Kearsley, The Winter Sea. I just know I'm going to love this one. I have a super, super high expe expectations of that one. And then keep going. Some Colleen McCullough's, like I've been mentioning. Love her. Um, yes, keep going. I'm super anticipating this book as well, but I didn't want to front face it on the end. But yeah, this is like an Outlander kind of like inspired by book. I don't know. It's, it sounds super good. And then I recently hauled this book in my thrift with me video. So you guys probably remember that one. 
and then keeps going. And then it ends with this one right here, which sounds really good too. A novel of Ireland. I love Irish anything. So, and then this ends with my Gone with the Wind plate that my sister bought me one time. It's like antique, like legit. I got like a thing that says, you know, this is verified, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of cool. And then down below it starts my World War stuff. So, so yeah, that is my whole unread bookshelf. Isn't it so cool? I love it. I'm probably going to play with the organization a little bit more, but I just love it. I think it's going to be great. And so then I have one bookshelf left and this is going to be where all my romances are stored. So that is for tomorrow. I am calling it a night tonight. I'm so tired. Hey guys, so I am officially calling it a night for now. Um, but yes, I did two of the three bookshelves tonight and I'm so happy with the results. I'm still gonna play around with the organization like I said, but um, for the most part they're where they should be. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. I hope you guys are enjoying this little vlog. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't think it'll be too long, but we'll see. But um, yeah, I will keep going with the vlog hopefully tomorrow um, unless plans happen with my family being in town. But, um, but yeah, and I will check in later. Good night. <laughs>just got back from brunch and so now I'm going to work on this empty shelf behind me um, I'm gonna be doing my romances today so it's very exciting um, I'm probably gonna leave a timestamp for this part down below just for anyone that's interested in just what my romance shelf is going to look like but um, yeah so I'm going to be organizing this big box here and then I've already started organizing some of my paranormals that I'm going to be doing first. So, um, yeah, that's my plan. And I'll let you guys know once I finish with one and go through the, the shelf so you guys can see my the start of my collection. <laughs> okay, we're at the very, very top shelf right now. But um, I'll show you guys my paranormals that I have shelved right now. So, here's my Amanda Ashley's here. And then it goes down, and here's my Christine Feehans. I haven't read any of these, so let me know if you guys have. Um, and I'm kind of organized them. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I almost fell. <clears throat> um, I've kind of organized them by series, and then like the first is the bottom, and then it goes up. So that's why that's. Yeah, this is just how my brain works right now. But yeah, so it starts with dark prints, and then I have one through six here. Oh, okay. I'm holding on now. Um, so yeah, then it, here's my Dara Joys. <laughs> they sound wild. And then my Sherilyn Kenyans, and my one Joanna Lindsay, and my Teresa Medeiros. And then here we'll go down. And then here's kind of my Highlander stuff. <laughs> so um, Kinley McGregor's, and then just a random pirate Kinley McGregor. And then I have Beyond the Highland Mist front case because I just want to show it off. And I'm very excited about it. I want to read it soon. And then here's the rest of that series here. So as far as I own. But yeah, so that's this shelf, romance shelf so far. And I'm going to get started on my historicals now. is line up um, according to series if I have them and it's a lot it's a lot and I'm actually pretty excited because um, most of my Lisa Clay Pesses have step backs so I think what I'll do is just show you guys some of my favorites um, and we'll go from there 
Um, for sure, one of my favorites is the Mind Till Midnight Step Back. I haven't read this series, so let me know if you guys have and what you think. But yeah, that one's super pretty. Um, and I have them ranked like one through six, so that's how that goes. Um, another favorite of mine is this one here, Prince of Dreams. Oh, I just love that one. Look at her makeup. And like, he's got makeup on too, it looks like. It's just awesome. <laughs> so there's that one. And then um, definitely all of these are have step backs and are very pretty. Um, one of my favorites, I think one of everyone's favorites is... Oh wait, is it this one? Oh shoot, it's not this one. But this one's pretty. Um, it's the one that's two pages. I'm trying to remember which one it is, but I have it. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Suddenly You. Yes. We love. I love that one so much. Um, but that one's a standalone, so that's why it's like I'm organizing it that way. Um, and then let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I keep these organized. And then another favorite of mine is um, this one here, When Strangers Marry. It's super pretty, it's gold. And then when you open it, oh, I love that. And then I actually have the older version of the same book. She rewrote it because she wanted to be more, it to be less problematic basically is what she said to like keep up with the times. But this is the older version of this book. And this one's really pretty too. I wish it was a step back, but it's not. But yeah, I love the raised lettering on this too. It's really pretty. So those are those two. And I'm going to be shelving them now. <laughs>
Hey everyone! So yes, here is the final product! Oh my goodness! It's so pretty! I'm so excited about it! Oh, it is everything I wanted! Like, with the twinkle lights and the tree too and just the whole vibe of it is everything to me. So, um, yeah, this is the final product of it. Um, I'll turn on the lights and show you guys the shelves, specifically the uh, um, the romance shelves that I haven't shown yet, but just thought I would chime in and show you guys what, uh, what it looks like. <laughs> so I think I left off showing you guys my Highlander section, and then this is where the A's start with the historical section, so I'll just show you guys that. This one's my Victoria Alexander. I just have to show the back of it because even if I never read it, I just wanted the back. Oh, I'm too scared to pull it all the way out, but so pretty. Okay, fix everything. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then here's my Mary Below's, um, the Slightly series. And then if we go down, <laughs> here's that one vintage romance I got in the historical fiction mystery box that everyone is telling me to read because <laughs> it's rated really bad and it would probably be a train wreck and be hilarious. Um, here's those recent Janet Dailies I just hauled and then I'll just keep going. This one I'm super excited to read. It's a Civil War historical and then I'll keep going. Here's some Sabrina Jeffries. There's a lot more but here's three of them here and then here's some more from a different series. Oh, this one's falling gotta make room gotta make room stay <laughs> and then here's some more Sabrina Jeffries here's a pirate Sabrina Jeffries right here and then um these are my Susan Johnson's haven't read any of these yet but really want to and then here is where the legendary Lisa Kleypas starts so all of these books here they loop over and then more here and then coming down, here's some more. Here's the Wallflower series right here. And then more Lisa Kleypas. And then this Laura Kinsale, Flowers from the Storm, that a, a ton of you guys have said for me to read. So I definitely want to get to it, hence the front facing. And then Judith McNaughts. And then some others. And then here's the start of my Julia Quinn down here. So, yes, Julia Quinn, some Bridgerton stuff, some other Bridgerton stuff. Um, yeah, I decided to perch this one, this cover, because seriously, I just love it so much. So I decided to show the back off. Um, some more Julia Quinn's here, some more here. Oh, it looks like Brighter Than the Sun might have fallen. I'll pick it up later. And then the bottom shelf is starts here and here's more julia quinn's and then some Nora roberts lavril spencer's jody thomas kathleen woodwist that i just hauled recently and then right here is where the start of my husband's books are um i guess i'll show you guys just in case you're curious but sorry i'm kind of struggling filming this part but um yeah he just has like a bunch of brandon sanderson's and louis l'amour and anyway some random stuff saga down there but yeah so yes guys that is my bookshelf reorganization vlog i hope you enjoyed i had so much fun organizing and getting these beautiful bookshelves put together and lighted and everything oh my goodness seriously i'm so so excited i hope you guys are too they will definitely be featured in basically every video now so but um, with that being said, please like and comment. I reply to every single comment. And please subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see all of you guys in another video. Bye!